Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, we'll be looking at how to create a view app like the one you see here on your Oxygen site using Oxygen's code block. Now, I do wanna preface this with a note that this is going to be a little bit advanced if you try to dig into it and build an app. You're gonna need some pretty solid JavaScript knowledge. Uh, if you have that, view is really easy to pick up and run with. Uh, but also in this video, I'm not gonna be teaching you view or JavaScript. I'm just gonna be showing you how to implement or build a view app in Oxygen uh, using a code block. And this probably isn't something you'd wanna do for a production web app, but I found it uh, to be a really great way to quickly prototype and distribute an idea just to see if it has any legs uh, before building out all the proper architecture you'd want with an app built uh, in Vue. So I'm gonna be using a UI library called Vuetify, which you can find at Vuetify js.com. This is just a material design framework for Vue. So this gives you a bunch of components you can use that will look really nice and follow the material design system to keep you from having to style a bunch of stuff if you're just quickly building out a prototype. And actually in their documentation, I found this really cool example of a to-do list. So we can add a to-do, hit enter, and it uh, creates it. We can also check off to do items and we have a progress bar. It shows remaining and completed. So I thought this would be kind of a cool uh, one to go ahead and implement on an oxygen site. So in this scenario, let's just say we're building a to-do list app and we wanna build it in oxygen maybe as a quick prototype just to see if people like it or what kind of features we need. So we would start with just some basic structure, a section and a code block. Now the primary thing you're gonna to need to do to get this up and running is to include Vue and Vuetify via CDN. And you can go out and just Google Vue, CDN, whatever. You can get it from a couple of different ones. I'm getting them from JS Deliver, but I believe CDN, JS and others also have these. So I'm gonna paste these in. Uh, and what we're including here is Vue, the minified version the material design icons, the Vuetify CSS itself, and then the Vuetify JavaScript, which is where all our components and things are registered. So once those are in our PHP and HTML editor in our code block, we can basically build out our app. So let's go over and look at this example. The nice thing here is that they give you the code. So we should be able to just take a look here. Um, they give you most of the stuff you need, but uh, you are gonna have to create a couple wrappers here. So let's uh, create a div and we're gonna give this an ID of app. And then within that div, we need an element called v-app. This is a special component that we're adding because we're building a view app. So that's not a normal HTML tag, but it will work here since we're using view and Vuetify. Uh, so once we have our v-app and our div, with the ID of the app, we can actually go over here and grab this HTML that they have here. And we can actually just paste that in. And then I'm gonna select it all and then shift tab to get it all formatted in case we need to dig through it for any reason. Now that's pretty much it for the PHP and HTML side. Now note, if you were building your own app, you'd obviously have to write all this stuff. Uh, but this is what it looks like to build an app with Vuetify and Vue. You have these special elements or components that you're using like vcontainer, you're passing styles into them like normal, but also you're passing attributes like vmodel, uh, which if, if you're familiar with JavaScript or, or Vue, you'll know that vmodel is uh, mapping the value of this text field element to something in our data. So I'm not gonna dig into that stuff real deep, but this is what a Vue app looks like on the PHP and HTML side. Uh, once we have that, it's time to do the JavaScript. So let's go, jump over to our JavaScript editor. And we can't directly copy what they have here because uh, the way we're writing our app is a little bit different than what they're doing. But we can kind of adapt this to what we're doing here. So let's um, copy all this off so that we can see it uh, from our oxygen editor. Maybe we'll put it like in a comment down here. Uh, but we're not actually gonna use this directly. So let's see if we can do multi-line comment here. 
and then we'll go up here and we'll just write our app real quick. So first thing, since we're using oxygen, we need to make sure that everything's loaded before we do any of this stuff. So we're going to do a document .add event listener. And we're waiting for the DOM content loaded event and then function event. And then within there is when we're going to do our view stuff. Now we need to create a variable. We're going to call it my app and that's going to be a new view. And then we can start passing uh, properties into this app that we just created. So the L property is going to take an ID. So we're going to pass in the app ID, which we just uh, created a div with the ID of app over on the PHP and HTML tab. Then because we want to use Beautify, we do Beautify. And that's a new Beautify. And then data, we need to store some data in here. So we're gonna say tasks, and then that's gonna be an empty array. And then new task is gonna be null. And uh, we're going to add the methods property, open and close curly brace. Then we're gonna have a method called create function event. And then we're going to do this dot tasks, which tasks is this, this uh, array up here that we just created that's empty. We're going to push a value to it. And that value itself is going to be array, an array, and it's going to say done. False, because we want our new tasks to not be done, because we have to check them. And then the text is going to be this dot new task. So note, we're now pulling the data uh, from the new task uh, property here. Um, so the next thing we do within our create function is we say this dot new task equals null. So that new task property is just where we're temporarily holding our new task. Now we need to go to our next set of functions and this is going to be under a computed property, open and close curly braces. We're going to create one uh, function called completed tasks. I'm just going to create these real quick. We'll go back and fill them in progress. These are kind of the things that make the list do stuff. And then remaining tasks. And for completed tasks, we want to return this.tasks.filter. We're gonna filter our tasks by task, task.done.length. So it's gonna tell us how many tasks are completed. Then for progress, we need to return this.completedTasks divided by this dot tasks dot length times 100. That'll give us our, our little progress value. And then remaining tasks, we're gonna return this dot tasks dot length minus this dot com completed tasks. So that'll give us our, our remaining tasks, like the, the ones that we still need to complete. Uh, so those are just little helper functions that'll help us output the, the data on the front end. And that is just about it, I believe. Let's go ahead and apply. And note that you're not gonna see this in the Oxygen Builder. This is the only real kind of hang up here is you're gonna have to preview things on the front end to make sure it's all working correctly uh, because of the way Oxygen handles uh, external resources like CDN links in the PHP and HTML area of a code block. It just isn't going to load in the builder. I do know, though, that we need to set this code block to width 100%. Now, remember what we're trying to create is this thing here. Let me switch back to, to the code pen here so we can see what we're doing. Yeah, so this is the thing that we're trying to, to recreate. And, and we basically copied and pasted it. But um, let's go see how it looks on our site after what we've done. Now, again, there may be errors here. We may have to go back and make adjustments. But the, uh, the layout looks correct. Let's make sure we don't have any console errors. This is always a good step when you're working with JavaScript. So now let's see if we can add a task. My new task. Let's press Enter. It does add the task. Uh, my second task. That's working, it's showing remaining. And if we check them, we get a completed value and it's basically doing exactly what we wanted. So right here we have the start of like a little web app and we didn't have to worry about any of the normal stuff you worry about when you're building and compiling a web app and deploying it uh, to some platform. Like this is just the simplest and quickest way 
to build out kind of a proof of concept for something. So you could actually put this on an Oxygen website. You could put it behind a condition to make sure that only people that are logged in can see it. You could even charge money for it uh, by using a custom condition and checking if people had paid uh, for a specific product in easy digital downloads, for instance, uh, and only showing it to those people. Um, there's a lot of possibilities with this, though I will say it's not it's not very lightweight. I mean, Vue, Vuetify, and all the CSS and JavaScript that they require is pretty big. I think it's around two megabytes. So that's pretty large um, for a production example. But for a quick proof of concept, I think it's really cool and kind of fun to get in and mess around with a framework like this. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to build a Vue app in Oxygen using Oxygen's code block. Thank you very much for watching.